Indonesia houses the most biodiverse reefs in the world ocean, with thousands of species of fish to observe and photograph. Some are new to science, while others were described eons ago. Like the convict fish, its family, Pholodictheae, has just one genera and a single species. The adults resemble eels, are slimy and so cryptic they remain sequestered in their extensive burrows, continually removing sand. Site-attached juveniles emerge from the burrows around dawn and form various midwater plankton feeding swarms, numbering sometimes in the thousands. At dusk, juveniles stop swarming and return to the burrow where during the night they were observed by researchers suspending themselves from the ceiling of the burrow by mucus threads extending out from pores in their head. Juveniles resemble the venomous catfish in coloration and fin structure, an ideal example of Batesian mimicry, whereby a harmless species resembles a harmful one. We were introduced to the convict fish by Larry Smith, the late Indonesian dive guide. Larry was interested in the research Dr. Eugenie Clark and her associates at Moat Marine Lab were doing on these fishes. The Moat Marine Laboratory studied the behavior and the daily lifestyle of the convict fish around the clock. The adults always remained in their substrate burrows, which have turned out to be the longest of any fish studied. However, the adults' food source still remains a mystery. Cannibalism was suspected, but juveniles were observed to swim both in and out of the adults' mouths, apparently unharmed. Moat researchers have speculated that juveniles could be regurgitating partially digested plankton into the adult mouths, but there is no proof. Despite mimicry, jacks, trumpetfish, and groupers are predators on the convict fish. Convict fish have been observed forming various open water clusters. Some that can arguably resemble whales and other charismatic megafauna. The venomous striped catfish are substrate feeders and the juveniles form large, tight aggregations that swarm over the bottom. Like the convict fish juvenile, the horizontal striping most likely aids in keeping swarms together. These similar looking species are sympatric, meaning they occur in the same region and encounter each other. The venomous dorsal and pectoral spines of these catfish are quite potent. There are reports that humans have even died as a result of stings from multiple fish. As the catfish swarm over the bottom, Small fish, shrimps, and other crustaceans try to escape the mayhem. The swarmy attracts other predator fish. They scoop up critters escaping from the foraging action. And despite the toxins, some fish get up close and personal to take advantage of the feeding opportunity. Like the convict fish, catfish swarms disperse before sunset and then blend back into the recesses within the reef. The world ocean has long been known to guard its secrets, and the intrepid researchers at the Moat Marine Laboratory have been actively engaged in unlocking those secrets for decades. <laughs>